Welcome back to the channel, everybody. Hope you guys have been enjoying the content. And if you're not a subscriber, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And if you like today's video, give it a thumbs up. So in today's episode, what we're going to talk about is the brand new WebEx user interface. We're going to go over things like how to join a meeting with a new user interface, some of the in-meeting experiences, some of the new features that are out there. Highly recommend you guys watch this video all the way to the end. You're not going to want to jump around on this one. And with that, let's jump in. So go ahead and get into the meeting how you normally would. If you're running Outlook or Lotus, click on that link inside your meeting invitation. If you've got the Cisco desktop application, you want to join that way, jump into the meeting that way. Once you do that, this is what you're going to be thrown into. This is the brand new join experience. The first thing you're going to notice on here is the extremely large self view window that they put in front of you. We do that because now you can go in and do things like change background if you wanted to. So at the top right here, I can hit change background and I can make it look like I'm in an executive room or on the beach if you want to be on the beach. Really good if you've got a lot of stuff going on behind you and you kind of want to hide it. You can do that right from here. You do also have the option to upload your own background image if you wanted to. So you can click that and upload your own image. At the top here too, there is a flip or a mirror, you can click that. If you wanna be on the left side or maybe the right side of the screen, you can do that. Just be careful with this because when you're mirrored, if you've got a logo or if you've got some writing on your shirt, it may appear backwards, but that is an option now as well. Down below that, we have the use computer for audio. You can click on that if you wanna use your cell phone maybe for the audio portion, you can call in, you can have WebEx call you back if you wanna do that as well, or maybe for some reason you don't want any audio, you also have that don't connect to audio option right there. Underneath that, that's going to be your settings for your video camera and your microphone and your speakers. Uh, right now my microphone is muted. I can go ahead and click that and unmute. I like to join all my meetings muted. So I'm going to turn that on. That's really nice because you could do that before you actually get into the meeting. You can make sure that you're muted just in case anything pops up in the background last second, you know, you're going to be muted. Same thing with video. You can actually stop your video before you join the meeting, or you can start your video before you join the meeting. That's all right there. If you click on these buttons next to mute, unmute and video, that's where you can select your different peripherals. So I can go in here and say my speakers, I want to use my desk pro, but my microphone, I want to use my Yeti microphone that I've got right next to me. So I can select that right here to the right side. Same thing. You might have a couple different cameras connected to your laptop. I can select those right here. I can select my FaceTime HD camera. That's one that's built into my Mac or I can go to my Logitech Brio camera. That's what I'm actually on right now. I can go ahead and click this here too. This will test my speakers and my microphone. I can play the old school WebEx jingle. Just make sure the volume and everything is set. Can adjust the gain on the microphone level right there or WebEx will automatically adjust that. So you guys can play around with that on there if you need to. And then the last thing on here is connect to a video system. So let's say you bring your laptop into a really nice Cisco video conferencing room. You've got one of the nice room kits or you know any of our telepresence units and you're sitting in front of it. It will automatically sense it. We're using ultrasound to pair with these devices. So you can go ahead and click it right here. It sensed that I'm right next to one. And when I click start meeting, it's actually going to join via my desk pro because that's the video unit that I'm on here. I'm going to go ahead and click disconnect because I'm not going to actually join that way. I'm going to just stay on my PC here, my Mac using my Logitech camera and my microphone. And with that, what you do is you go ahead and you click the start button. And now you're into the brand new WebEx experience. And the first thing that you guys will probably notice is that we default to the grid view now. If you really liked that active speaker type view, you could still get back into it. You're just gonna hover over the box at the top here and you're gonna click on the middle option and that's gonna take you back into the active speaker. So when Dave here is talking, he's the one that's gonna be big and center on the screen. And then the rest of the participants showing the thumbnail view <clears throat> along the bottom here. Switch back out of this, again, hover over the top, go back to grid view. The next improvement that you're gonna see is that your self view window is actually integrated now into the rest of the participants windows here. 
Uh, I'm really glad Cisco did this. I think it's a really good update on the user interface and the design here. And you don't have to keep moving around that floating window. If you did really like it and you wanted to go back to it, you can click on the three dots at the top. And you can say, show myself view in a floating window. And you click that, and then that's kind of that type of experience again. You can click that again, there the three dots, and you can revert back to this type of experience. You guys probably also noted in here a couple other options. You could do the mirroring that we talked about before, changing your virtual background, and some camera settings are all built right into that. <clears throat> so moving down here, the other new update is a brand new toolbar along the bottom. And the big thing here is that they changed it from just symbols to symbols plus the word next to it. For the most part, I think people got it. You know, the microphone was to mute or unmute, but there was a couple buttons like the share button, a square with an up arrow. And I gotta tell you, no one really knew what that button did. And sometimes people would be in the middle of a meeting and press it by accident and they start sharing their screen when they didn't really want to. So I'm really happy that Cisco put those labels next to it because I think it's just a lot easier to see, a lot easier to read, and you know what those buttons are supposed to be doing. So if we start at the left side of this menu bar, <clears throat> we'll go down the list and we'll show you guys what, what these do. But the first thing here is we have the WebEx Assistant. Newer feature, this has to be enabled by the administrator on the back end for you to be able to use this in your meetings. But if you want to turn it on, this is how you would do it. And what the WebEx Assistant is, it's like having your own personal assistant inside of this meeting. So they can take notes for you, they can take action items for you, they can transcribe the entire meeting. Really cool feature. I'm gonna end up doing another video on that. Uh, I think it's just gonna take way too long to try to get through everything in one video. So that's gonna be its own separate one because that could take probably 10, 15 minutes by itself. Next to that, we have the mute and unmute button. I can go off of mute and you can see now it actually has a little VU meter in there. So it's no longer just a static button. Uh, it's showing that I am actually talking. I, I like that feature a lot because a lot of times if you have like a headset plugged into your laptop and you didn't set it initially to use the microphone on the headset, you might be talking, you might be sitting back a little bit from your computer you can actually see now if you're actually transmitting audio or not. And if you're not, you have the option to the right side there to, oops, switch over to your headset in case you were on your MacBook Pro microphone. So really nice that that's in there. And you can go back on mute there. <clears throat> Other new feature here. I can hold down the spacebar button. And while I'm holding it down, it temporarily unmutes me and I can talk. So kind of like that walkie talkie function. Uh, if you have to say something really quick, you just want to interrupt for two seconds, do it, take your finger off the space bar, you're back on mute. Next to that, we've got the start and stop video buttons and the little down arrow for that allows you to select and switch between cameras. So maybe you start off on your FaceTime high definition camera built into your laptop, but you're also trying to show off a product and you've got a Logitech camera connected to your computer and you want to show that product off. Right in the middle here, I can switch cameras and now my Logitech camera is pointing to the product that I really wanted to show off there. Settings, virtual backgrounds here too. So maybe you started the meeting and you didn't have a virtual background up because you're, it was a quiet day, there was nobody in your room, but everyone's working from home now, things change, gets a little crazy behind you flip on your virtual background or change your virtual background right from that button there. Share would be the next button here. I'm gonna go ahead and click this so we can show you some new functions here as well. When I'm in the share, the video panel now goes off to the right side. It's still in the grid view there. And we do have this little drop down now. So when you go ahead and you share your screen, you can actually now see what other people are seeing. Really good feature, guys, for people with multiple monitors. I know I, I ran into this situation before where I go to share a monitor and I thought I was sharing the right monitor, but I was actually sharing the left monitor. Now you can go up to the top here and verify, yep, I am sharing the correct monitor that I wanted to, to, to share. Let's stop that real quick here and continue down the list. 
So record would be our next button there. Pretty self-explanatory. Again, little bullseye with the record button next to it. More options, click that. And this is where I would go in now and switch between my audio options. So I start using voice over IP audio from my computer, but I might need to run out and I want to take that, that call with me, that WebEx with me. So what I'm actually going to do now is switch audio and send it over to my cell phone, have it call my cell phone, have it call my desk phone. That's how you would go in and do that. Connect to a video system. So maybe you start the meeting on your PC, but you're mobile, you're walking around, you jump into a conference room, there's maybe a couple other people in there that want to watch what you're, what you're in. You press that, it automatically, guys, senses that there's a video endpoint in that room and switches the call over to that video endpoint and you don't have to do anything else. Really awesome feature that we have in here. Under that, we've got lock meeting, invite and remind, copy meeting link. Nothing new, nothing crazy there, but maybe in a new spot for you. Red X button, end meeting, leave meeting, that's right there. To the right side of that, I've got the participants button now. So by default, that's gonna be minimized, press it, pops it out like a drawer, and then I've got my participants on the right side here. I can go ahead now, right click a participant if I wanted to, and I can set the role to host or co-host if I wanted to. So co-host allows me to be the host still, but allows them to also be the host. Previously, this was known as alternate host, but we changed the nomenclature here to co-host. So just making you guys aware that that's there now, new name for that. While we're in this menu here too, you know, you have the standard type stuff, unmute, mute, <clears throat> new one, stop video. So doorbell's ringing, guy forgets to uh, go off a of mute, or if guy forgets to mute himself, you can go in here, mute them but he gets up, he leaves, you can actually go in and you can stop their video now too. So I just stopped it, you can see that Beck no longer has video transmitting here anymore. Besides that, we've got the chat feature, nothing really changed too much on that one, polling and notes are still built in. Other big new feature here, breakout sessions. So if I go to the top here and click enable breakout session, that's going to take all the people in this room. You gotta click the button on the bottom here. It's gonna take all the people in the room and create different breakouts. So if I have a room with 100 people in it and I wanna divide them all equally into 10 rooms, this is how you would do that. Now I created an entire video around this. It's about 12 minutes long. I will post that link in the description here. Recommend you guys take a look at that. There's too much and it would take too much time to go through that in this video here, but watch it so you understand what the breakout sessions do. Then last couple features here at the top, if I go to participants, there is a button here that I can allow anyone to share. You could turn that off and basically what that does for you is that nobody can share except for the host and you can turn that back on and people can share. So if you do run into the issue where people are constantly sharing their screen by accident or whatever, we have that now as an option over here. Um, and then we also have you know, the mute, unmute, mute all and entry, always a good thing to have on here. You may wanna use that mute and entry a lot, one of my favorite features. So guys, I think that's about it. You know, I really wanted to give you guys a taste of what the new client looks like, what this new user experience looks like. If you have any questions, post them in the comment section below. Let's talk about them. Really want to see what you guys think about this new product, this new user interface too. Um, leave some comments down below and let's talk. Appreciate you guys for watching. And if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Thanks a lot.